Welcome, everyone, to the Air Canada Centre and Gate 5. We'd like to certainly welcome those that have joined us here today at Gate 5, but also those watching across Canada on NBA TV Canada and then also uh, in the United States on NBA TV. Not only watching, but also listening on TSN and also Sportsnet. We want to thank all of those uh, for joining us here today. Uh, my name is Matt Devlin, and I'm going to uh, be the MC and kind of tell you about what this day is going to be about, and certainly a major announcement today. We are going to begin with opening remarks by the president and CEO of MLSE, Tim Laiwiki, followed by the new general manager, Masai Ujiri. At that time, we will then take questions from you, and after that, I will then come back and explain to you how the rest of uh, this morning will lay out for you. But without any further ado, here is Tim Laiwiki. Tim? Thank you. Uh, well, first off, since this is my uh, first encounter and uh, first activity in Toronto, I, I want to thank everyone for the warm welcome, uh, tell everyone how honored I am to be here, uh, to be part of this great organization, and how excited I am for the future of not just the organization, but all the teams. <clears throat> but today uh, is about the Raptors, and I'm excited about uh, the news and the progress that we've made within that organization. Uh, when, when we began this road about a month ago, uh, Larry Bell and Rogers, uh, Larry Tannenbaum, Bell and Rogers, uh, we, we all saw the vision the same way, which is this is not an organization that wants to make the playoffs. This is an organization that would like to win championships. And we understood that we needed uh, fresh, new thinking, dynamic thinking, and leadership in order to get us to where we want to go to. And we clearly understood that, that we have not had the success that the owners, the fans, or this team deserves. And so we set our, our sights on bringing in uh, a new leader, uh, a new chemistry and culture for the organization. And when we set our sights, we decided to set our sights high. Uh, we were very fortunate there were a lot of people that were interested in being part of this organization. In fact, overwhelmed at the amount of interest that we received. But there was one person we focused on. <clears throat> and many people that we talked to in the league said, you'll never get him. He's the NBA executive of the year. There's no way that someone like that is going to leave an organization that good and come to Toronto. Uh, well, that's a myth. People want to come to this organization. People want to come to the city. And if you don't believe it, look at the two guys sitting here at this podium. We both wanted to be here, and we're both over the moon to be part of this organization. I want to thank Josh Kroenke and the Kroenke Sports Group for their integrity and allowing us to pursue this conversation and allowing Masai to pursue his dream. Uh, there are some organizations that probably would have not allowed this, uh, and I want to thank Josh for not only giving us the right to pursue this conversation, but concluding this conversation. I, I thank him for the process. I thank him for the patience. And I applaud him for giving Masai the opportunity to step up and ultimately uh, be a part of this organization and, and his life's dream long term. So today, on behalf of Maple Leaf Sports, it gives me great honor and pride to introduce the future of this Raptors organization. The president of basketball operations and the general manager, uh, Masai, for me, I couldn't be more thrilled that you're here based on not only your experience and your reputation, but your commitment, passion, and enthusiasm for what we need to do as an organization. So I welcome you back to Toronto. Uh, I welcome you to Maple Leaf Sports. And for me personally, I am extremely excited about being your partner and building the Raptors into an NBA championship organization. Welcome, and it's all yours. Um, wow. Uh, I'm overwhelmed. I can't. Uh, I, I, I don't even know where to start. I don't have anything written, guys. I'm going to speak straight from my heart. I'm home. I came home. And, and uh, 
it was a tough decision uh, to, to leave Denver. Uh, it was an easy decision uh, for me to come here. Uh, I, I really, I'm really, really honored and humbled that this organization would give me uh, uh, this chance. I met uh, Tim Lawicki, uh, heard so much, so many teams, things about him, and uh, he gives me uh, this huge opportunity. And uh, I'm going to go to the guys that that I've known here with Larry and uh, Roger and Bell, and uh, they pinpointing me and, and giving me this opportunity to come to this organization is, is, is huge for me. And um, Brian Colangelo gave me a chance here. He gave me a chance to, um, to start working in the front office and, and think about management and think about running a team and, and taught me how to run a team. And then uh, I really want to, to thank the Kroenke family for giving me that opportunity in Denver. They did. They did. They took a shot at it, gave me a chance, and, and uh, I tried to do my best for that organization. And uh, they, were, they were unbelievable during this process and, and great to me. Guys, I, I, I'm home. I love Toronto. I love this place. And um, uh, I'm going to, it's, it's been such a whirlwind the last uh, couple of weeks. And, um, I uh, thank my wife who's here and who has been unbelievably supportive uh, of this and um, is happy to be back. We spent uh, two good years here uh, together when we first started and uh, that's for me that's, uh, that's unbelievable. Friends I see everywhere, guys this is, I, I apologize, this is a little, this is, this is unbelievable for me and I, I'm, I'm pumped, I'm excited. This is uh, this is a stage that I've always wanted in my life. So I know some people say, hey, um, uh, do you take a job because of money? Do you take a job because of, uh, why, do you, why do you take a job? Uh, guess what? Uh, this, uh, this, some way, somehow, this was meant to be, and, I, and, and I'm here, and I'm going to try and help this organization to get uh, to where we are. Uh, it's going to take patience. It's going to take will. Uh, we're going to instill uh, passion, a uh, passion to win. Guys, the overall goal in the NBA is to win a championship. That has to be the overall goal. It's not playoffs. It's not. It, it's to win a championship at the end. And I think uh, uh, Tim has those goals, and he's 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 told me what uh, his vision is of this place. And and I know the people that worked here, and uh, uh, and how great they were, and uh, it's 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 just unbelievable. Even to come and see some of the changes here, it's it's vision, it's uh, uh, it's creativity, and and that's kind of what I'm about. But at the end of the day, I'm a basketball guy, and I want to put a product out there uh, that's going to compete one day for a championship. And uh, sometimes it's going to be tough. Sometimes it's going to be hard. Uh, but uh, overall, guys, I, I, I think uh, we're in a good place. Uh, the guys that have been here and uh, I think have done a good job. I thought Brian Colangelo, uh, it, I know it's been tough. Uh, he's I'm close to him. He's been a good mentor to me. And, um, hey, I'm here. I'm on the hot seat now. And I know, I know what it takes to be on the hot seat. That, that's, uh, that's, that's life. If you choose to be in this position, you have to put yourself in this position and and go out there and attack. Uh, that's the way it should be. And championship is, is what the goal should be here. I don't care what people say about Toronto, Canada, all that stuff. Yeah, it's a beautiful place here. It's a be beautiful, they have beautiful fans. They have great fans here, great ownership, great resources. And, and so it's left to us to do our job and to do our job very well. And when we do our job very well, we're going to put a product on the field there. I think that's has to produce. It has to produce. And that's our responsibility. Um, I really thank, I really, really thank this organization for giving me a chance because um, I know, yes, people talk about, again, I'm going to mention it, money and, uh, and all. It's put me on a stage. I'm from Africa and uh, I, I have to be on a stage uh, f uh, to represent my continent. Being the first African GM, being executive of the year, all that stuff is, is, for me is on the side. I have to create an opportunity for people over there. And the only way you create an opportunity for people over there is to win, is to win. 
and to build culture and to do things the right way and to treat people the right way. And that's what I'm here to do. I really appreciate everybody that has come out here tonight, uh, today. Um, it's, uh, this is, uh, again, I'm going to say, this is very overwhelming for me. Um, I, guys, I'm home. I'm back. Mm-hmm.